into the QBverse, show number, I believe it's 11, no, 12, show number 12, into the QBverse, and we are live. Hey everybody, it's Atrocities, I'm here with uh, Lion Lionheart, um, Magic Dragon uh, unfortunately had something come at the last minute, so he's not, he's uh, not going to be able to show, but um, here we are, and you'll notice that we've got a third member here, uh, Lionheart, why don't you go ahead and introduce him. Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to this week's show. I've got my buddy uh, Bishop M on. He's a brand new player. We're going to be focusing on him starting the show this, uh, or starting the game this week. Um, so it's been uh, touch and go, but this is the stuff that we all need to know when we're looking for referrals coming to the game. And we've all dealt with growing pains and wins, so we're going to share some of that with you tonight. Um, so if you want to say hi and introduce yourself real quick, there, Bishop. Hey, um, Bishop. Uh... I just got into the game, trying it out. Uh, it's been a lot of fun right now. I'm actually enjoying the trivia. As as easy as the gray vaults are, um, it's it's nice. But, you know, as soon as you get to the blue ones, a little iffy. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Right on. Cool. So, yeah, like... Uh, like Atrocity said, we don't have Magic Dragon tonight. So I think we always do our uh, our week in the QB verse. So how how was your week in the QB verse, Atrocities? Uh, not too bad. I got uh, two uh, two QBs to level ten. So very happy wow. with that. Um, in one week. In one week. Now the thing was is that uh, I finished up one. I had gotten uh, the bonus thousand points from. Um, the uh, the Vegas quest monument quest come through, so I mm -hmm. that leveled up my next QB. I was planning on leveling up to put them from like level one to level eight right away. Um, and then this week got two buddy quests done, and then went and did a sushi quest, um, which gave me uh, a lot of extra points. And between that and a couple days of walking, I was able to uh, complete my second one today. So I was uh, very enough. happy with that was able to actually pick up a couple of uh, MMA cubies in the auction house this week for less than 2,500 uh, cubie coin it takes to buy the blueprint. So very, very happy with that. Um, yeah, so I think those are the key highlights. How about, how about yourself? Yeah, it sounds pretty exciting. Um, yeah, my, uh, my wife's sushi uh, shop is under construction, so that meant I was like, I need all your resin, but we're not quite there yet. I spent all week upgrading my love at Tim Hortons, and uh, so now it's constructing as a blue, and I said, don't uh, spend that resin, you owe me, and uh, so we'll start upgrading that, and uh, I'm sure we'll be talking about more of that next week in, in uh, the Hunter Lo Hunter's Lodge recap, but yeah, I've just been... Uh, how much of that did you understand? <laughs> Not too much. I know what resin no, is. So, yeah. <laughs> it, uh, you know, I needed it to upgrade my headquarters. So, right that's, as, that's as far as I know. Is it, It's a upgrade material. Just like I'll, blue uh, paint. I'll, I'll tell you the best about resin. It is the most common <laughs> ingredient in the game. And we used to be swimming in it, and everyone's like, what's the point of this? And they kept selling it left, right, and center. And now that we're building and needing it for structures, like you, you can't get it. It's it's like crack. So um, hang on to it. That's uh, for all the new players that are showing up tonight. Um, you don't need to earn QB coins in Hunter mode. Just collect that resin, sell it into the auction house to fiends like me. So, um, well, yeah, so I, guess I haven't even got to the auction house yet, so... Yeah. Well, we'll, uh, we'll yeah. cover that tonight tonight's show to let you know how to get there well I have to do a tour one night that's for sure I think that's um, right as you say like once you get the auction house unlocked some of your problems go away because you'll be able to buy oh, yeah. the, the ingredients that you're missing that you're not dropping for you but yeah painful until you get there so yeah, yeah, yeah we the, see we got someone. the game uh <laughs> It, like when I when I started the tutorial, uh, which we got a video of there that one night, it uh, it was pretty straightforward. But there's a few things that was missing for sure. It was just uh, it wasn't so clear on how to upgrade and everything else. So mm -hmm. 
Right on. Well, about that, um, you mentioned we made a video the other night. Both um, Bishop M and I work at the same place, and we work on godly hours until like 2.30 in the morning. So he asked for a ride home, I think, Wednesday morning. And uh, we stopped at my place, walked over to his, and took a video along the way. So we'd like to share that with everyone tonight. We got a quick little video that kind of sets the tone and the attitude when Bishop first opened. And then we'll slide into actually an 18-minute video, full tutorial, every little nook and cranny along the way. And when we return after that, we'll go for a pee break and jump right into a roadmap to account level 10. All right, so um, bear with me for a second. I'm just going to get everything all queued up here. I'm not the tech guy, Trostes is. Um, he's uh, helping me out with that a bit. <laughs> so, good sound. Here we are. And it's not working, of course. One we quick second. Working. We did have it working earlier, so <laughs> um, just let us know. It'll happen. I know uh, what I say. One of the great things about our show here has always been uh, technical issues, and we're never we're not claiming to be professionals here at all. And uh, from a technical point of view, uh, we'll figure things out eventually. So <laughs> bear with us. Yeah. So. The, the Teams on my computer is not working there, so I'm going to try and uh, just rejoin the chat. Sure. But yeah, I'd say, you know, from your, your perspective, I don't even know if you have a, do you even have hunter mode option at this point, or is it only chill mode? Uh, and oh. that being, um, like, and you can go in your settings um, where you choose hunter mode versus chill mode. Do you have that option? Oh, or? yeah, yeah, I have it. Uh, I had it right away, actually. But, uh, like, James was on my porch the one night, or the first night, and he was like, I suggest you don't put that on. So I was like, okay. <laughs> it look it looks uh, like a, it, like, uh, multiplies the, the difficulty, and I was like, you know what, let's just, let's just do the base figure it figure out what i'm doing and then go from there basically yeah. so like, like i used to be in hunter mode all the time um but with the way it works now i'm, I'm in chill more often um be, chill gives you more resin it gives you more paint um and it gives you less QB coin versus the other way around you get more QB coin and less paint and resin but it's also dependent upon how fast you answer the question so, uh, so if you answer, it's the same question, but if you get get it like in the almost instantaneous, perfect, and you get, um, you know, you get a payout on that. Problem with some of those times, some of the questions you have to read the full question, um, which is uh, much more difficult. Versus um, if you plan a bit, you can kind of like recognize the question after the first two or three answers. Or words and then go okay i know what this question is let me go look for the answer so yeah i'm really enjoying uh geography i was really good in geography in uh school so i picked nice. that one nature you know food obviously everybody loves food so <laughs> it's a good one <laughs> but, i'm not a fan i'm not a fan of the food category personally so yeah you know. uh, well i eat a lot so <laughs> Food is amazing. <laughs> yeah, so it looks yeah, like I got her work there. I'm it, and I because I found like with food, and what scared me off was initially was I was like, "What's the best food from this place?" And I'm like, "I have no idea what the you know most famous food from all these states." Wisconsin. Was. Wisconsin. Well, oh cheese. yeah. <laughs> cheese is probably the one for that, but um, I didn't know that. I didn't know that actually, which was. Uh, my wife knew that. She she called me out. <laughs> I couldn't. I didn't know. Did not know. But yeah, cheese curds apparently is Wisconsin. So, wow, I wouldn't have known that either. <laughs> <laughs> right on. So it looks like we're good to go here. I just had to close a few things. Uh, 
All right. Um, I'm not sure where we are on YouTube. Are we all queued up there, queued Atrocity? Up. Everything's looking good. Okay, so this is this is just the first uh, video. Looks like it's uh, about 50 seconds long there. And this is the very, very start. Opening the game for the first time. <laughs> so for all you vets that haven't seen um, the tutorial process, this is it right from the start. So this is Bishop M clicking everything. He did this uh, last Monday night. And I believe the uh, the professor here in the tutorials modeled after uh, the icon of one of our longer term players is using. Does it not? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And well, um, I can't do that right now. <laughs> yeah the uh the burn the realization that this game you actually have to go out and play it i wasn't lying that i went to london one night at three in the morning yeah. oh my god we don't i got to a that. point <laughs> got to a point where <laughs> i was like i don't have enough time but you know that night we went out together that's how it went so yeah. So, uh, so yeah, it took a little bit of encouraging. I got, I got Bishop back out, and uh, here's our 18-minute video. Uh, so this is uh, Stephen Q. And if you got to get up and go to the washroom, that's fine too. Um, well, so we're just at my apartment. Where I left it off. So you gotta do 100. What? Oh, okay. Now it's going to the top there. What do you mean? The bubble. What the bubble? bubble. Yeah. This is a guess right now. I just step. Yeah. Can I see the, uh, God damn. the actual steps? <laughs> <laughs> it was three in the morning. <laughs> three in the morning. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's oh my and God. We're on nighttime mode then. Um, yeah, we, yeah, we discovered that once we uh, got back to his house. I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't actually go into the options to put it on nighttime at this point. That's a break phone. Whenever the settings. That's just reset. Oh my god! I literally could not. I could not see anything happening on this phone. This was going down. Whatever. So so yeah, maybe don't leave your referrals all by themselves. Go join them like I did with my buddy. Because maybe that's why nobody comes back out to play. Like, oh. uh, I don't think because you're in the middle of the tutorial. Oh, yeah, it won't, it won't even let me. What's your step? Yeah. Either, so that'll answer that question. No, while you're doing your step yeah. counter at the start of the tutorial, you cannot click on yeah. vaults. Okay. You just gotta walk on your steps, eh? Okay. Yeah. Thank God. Oh, look, an animal. Is that a bunny? There's a lot of. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> a lot of random banter, for sure. <laughs> Great job. Did you know that, that AK steps a day Rex staying healthy? Sure did. Q <laughs> 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 a geolocation game. Uh, right? I mean, I, I'm glad quarters. they put that there. Oh, like, no, it's you quarters. know, as I said, like, uh, the three pillars of the game that that's I always fine. played was, was like, game, you know, health, game you, making you walk. Um, do, do, do. Is great recommend it. Great thing. Well, somewhere you visit every day. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can build. Well, that's that. Yeah, you know, as I said, like. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm only had going back up to YouTube. Thank God. Uh, <laughs> I'll take up resources. Oh my God. Oh, why is he? I forgot it. Tap so hard. Oh, so I don't even have to. It's a, I got. When are you ready? Oh, okay. Oh, so, so yeah, we can okay, just keep. So now. That's good. So that's just a pretty, pretty simple tutorial. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, but we're still. So not, what's this? We're not through it what's yet. What's that? Uh, that's a trade shack. Okay. And that's where you can go to get resources. We'll always get paint. Sometimes you get um, the resources that are used to make the QB that is stacking. Okay. So I. Uh, I still can't touch anything. It even says Trade Shack on top. I didn't even notice that till now. 
<laughs> I, I, I see the words a lot now. Of our conversations oh, yeah. go this way. We should be getting a walking unhealthy, here. Unhealthy. Enough. We walk so slow. There's so many blocks. We should make skinny cubes. <laughs> for the ones. I don't even remember what I said. <laughs> <laughs> this is three in the morning, man. My goodness. Uh, I guess they have a skeleton here. Here too. Oh, dude, I would want a skeleton. For sure. So it looks like at this point it's wanting you to click on uh, your headquarters, but you guys just keep blocking her. Eh? Yeah. Because yeah, um, we just didn't want to place it over by, by my house. Like, we, we live pretty close together. Um, where you can see that trade shack with the nutcracker, like that's where we're walking to. His house is right over there. So he probably at this point could have dropped the headquarters if you wanted to. So for all new players, um, you just need to see the headquarters on the map in order to interact with it. So, and your map radius that you can see is about 500 meters. So we could have dropped it here? Uh, yeah, we could have dropped it. And moving forward, like, if you need to move your headquarters, it costs you one green key to destroy it, and then you can drop it down. Oh, okay. Yeah. So actually, when I do, uh... I'll oh, go ahead. I was, no, I was just going to say, I, I know uh, my wife got her friends started on it, and she just started to load the game, and they were driving along um, when they did it, and just randomly spawned her headquarters on, on the road, like, far, far oh, past, man. where, in that case, she had to uh, earn enough keys in order to uh, move the, we were headquarters, so, yeah. Um, that was her first little yeah. block, so, Both. this is getting it. <laughs> Going, crazy. Oh, having somebody what with the you fuck? We got a gift? That, oh, nice. Where, where nice. So, all uh, right, here. Course, uh, yeah, you're trying to push it. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff yeah. in the game is going to be a long press. The one thing, too, is uh, when you do see me plant my headquarters, I have a vault right on my house. That vault went away when I put my headquarters on top. When you are ready. Oh, weird. Okay. Yeah. So I don't have that vault anymore. Did you move your uh, did you move the vault headquarters after that? No, no, my headquarters headquarters is still no, 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 here. If you so. moved your, I'd be interested if you moved your headquarters. Um, Can I always say no, that's fine. To another location, if that vault would reappear. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's it would. Cool. Oh, I think the headquarters is just a graphic nice. over top. So that's good. That, so that's I had that vault for one night, and then the next day I turned the game on, it was gone. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like, say someone's new and they're going to some sort of event and they can't set up their HQ. Yep. And at least they'll get something. So try clicking on a vault, actually. Click right here. When you click on it, press it. No, nope. Gary went over that. I, I have the attention span of the goldfish. Am I close enough? <laughs> yeah, you should be close enough. Like, just click it. No longer. Uh, but yeah, if you get to moving your headquarters, so I'd say yeah, just uh, drop it over at Foodland. Uh, yeah, that'd be a good idea. Well, that's just, fine. You still can. Yeah, I, just, I would just say, like, like in my you case, I, I've i moved my headquarters. Um, <sighs> when I drop it, I drop it in my backyard now. So that allows but, yeah. me to... Uh, not interfere. That's something up at the gym. Sometimes I've driven yeah. to my well, driveway, that's it. I've gotten my level, and uh, I'm not able to collect my uh, yep. my box because status. I'm in my headquarters. So they may have fixed that since then, but it is what it is. Right. No. Just that's a good idea. I have a backyard, so I could probably move it a little bit over. Yeah. For sure. Like I said, as long as you can see it, you can yeah, interact with it. You can put a couple. But if you got a neighbor that you don't like, just drop the headquarters on his house. <laughs> yeah. Go on his porch. You've got that vault there, so I, I like to think you can move it far enough away so you can actually collect that vault. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I was just, I honestly, I was disappointed the next day. I opened up the game and it was, it was absorbed by my headquarters. So. <laughs> I should move it just slightly over. Squeak in the sky. The... <laughs> I've seen a um, but as you can see, that that vault up there with here. the uh, jack o' lantern yeah, on it—that's it. um, that's my wife's vault. Okay. So you can actually start building your own vault. And in this walking area, um, you can start adding to it and 
building up the vault yeah, density yeah. so you don't have to go it's very far here. to get the resources and QB coins. So I thought they were quiet. They are pretty quiet. So this is uh, Bishop talking about um, bats outside of a church. Well, yeah. So are we able to fast forward this to uh, bat, your death? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's uh, no. just uh, 18 minutes here. is quite a bit of time. I was surprised <laughs> that you didn't cut it down a little bit. Uh, no, because um, we got this a little bit later. So let's just uh, no. cut this down. Yeah, because you uh, lost connection right there. So we're we're at your yeah. house, I think. Yeah. yeah, because my Wi-Fi started cutting into my games. So. Yeah, All right, so I'll turn the volume up. tip. Um, sometimes you want to go into your uh, settings in your phone and turn your Wi-Fi off. I've. Uh... Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, There's the headquarters. Okay. So I'll turn this up so we can hear our actual tutorial. Please, Jan. All right. Tab HQ. This we're we building. You're yeah, pretty good at this. You're pretty good at this. For now, your HQ lets you open packages from your mail room. Get close to a white vault and then tap it. Okay. <laughs> Will do. Okay. So yeah, change. there's that need that vault that is not there this, anymore. Uh, drag a key. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm glad that they put that infographic there, just yeah. sliding the hand up. Uh, I'm ready. Oh, we got to answer questions. Uh, walking steps. This is the chance of heart disease, probably. Okay. Nice. I wonder if that's. Uh, I don't think I've seen that question before. I wonder if that's special to the. Uh, I'm glad I asked the question right. And not look like it. It actually TV. seems like a pretty difficult question. <laughs> <laughs> Until you look at the answers. Tweet the pit. Tweet the picture. Yeah, so you don't have to do any yeah. of that. Down at the bottom, just skip. Great job solving your first ball. A reward has been sent to your HQ. Finish quest. Okay. Now it's time to level up your HQ to level two. Holy crap. <laughs> so like a lot of is... which I didn't do till today. No, it's been like a no. week because <laughs> I couldn't find blue paint anywhere. Tutorial reward. Let's do that first. So this is this is actually important. We were trying to find the HQ level up button because normally you have an HQ level up button, but so that everyone knows you actually have to click the tutorial button. To level up for the first time. I'd like to hit them individually because I'm that oh, really? type of guy. Yeah, so we'll we'll get to that there in a second. Like I I know I was like, where is it? What are we doing wrong? It's, um, <laughs> it's kind of panicking. Life improvement that just came in the last patch. Yeah, what was it? The little scholar dude on the top left. Yeah, yeah, that uh, tutorial. Yeah. How do I uh, upgrade my thingies? Uh, okay, right so we'll, here. Get great question, Gears. Okay. And. And, and we're not clicking it yet because we're so confused. No, 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 can't no. touch. Um, can you drag your controls now? No. There's nothing up there. That's crazy. So, out of it, maybe you just got to keep doing the tutorial for now. So, uh, cool down. Yeah, there is some things that are user friendly, like new user friendly, and some things that are just. You know, you don't walk. even know. Um, What's your tutorial saying? Yeah. Oh, walking, oh, walking goals at uh, school. Uh, yeah, hold on. That's yeah, almost it's almost embarrassing at this point that I could not find the level up button. Oh, <laughs> oh that's your um, well, the leaderboard stuff. Okay. There's your adventure road. So when you answer the trade shack, go back into that. Okay. Oh. Okay. So it's gonna walk you through it. Okay. Start. So you need to drag that up. There you go. Done. And uh, there's the 25, 25 paint, paint left. Okay. That I couldn't get so for weeks. So <laughs> or a week. <laughs> walk around. If you go down really? to your All right, so dog, I'll, uh, I'll turn it right down here. So that was basically as far as we got in the tutorial process. Um, yeah. So, so it sounds like Bishop was able to find his 25 paint. 
So just make sure that you're hitting white vaults for that, not blue or green. Because blue or green is only going to give out. Well, I, I got I got my blue paint from a trade shack today, so I got 250 now. But one thing I would say about this game is I feel like you should make it easier to upgrade to HQ2. I think that should um, be... To the, to the second level, I, I think they should just have maybe some more instructions. Um, I do know that they're holding back on letting people just jump right into the game so that um, they don't get confused and start messing up hunting grounds. So before you can actually build, you need to upgrade your headquarters a little bit, understand the game, and kind of connect with your community. Um, so I, 100%. I, I kind of agree that it is a, a bit harder to upgrade at first. Because um, I'm sure, like in any other game, you get noobs that are on board and just start spamming the economy uh, with crap that you don't want to see, and it just stops being fun at that point. The, the only thing I, I have is, like, I couldn't even get your referral request because i didn't upgrade my hq right so um, it's like how about we get the level two and then you know what i mean get the people yeah. that referred me to the game to be mm -hmm. you know together so has has that appeared now because i did notice on no the, like i'll be bringing up that <laughs> it still it hasn't has not appeared, appeared. No, okay here, i'm gonna go, i'll go on it right now hold on <laughs> Yeah, because it's 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 supposed to uh, appear on the left hand side, right? Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be a share button. I think my Teams okay. is uh, messing up again. Oh, there we go. And uh, I'm trying to get back to uh, my share screen here, so I'll stop sharing and bring up. I think it might have lost Bishop. Still there, Bishop? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay. Hi, buddy. <laughs> I just... Oh, there's referrals. Okay, so I got referrals. Yeah, yeah so I just I just brought this up. So if, I don't know if we want to take, take a break at all or just... Uh, let's go through this referral bit real quick. Um, because, yeah, that's... I One thing I thought the, the new referral program was that you had a week to get it in. But then I pulled up the wiki... And down here, it says it is not possible to use your QBverse referral um, once you upgrade to level three. So to me, it's telling me that between level two and level three, you should see um, that referral icon. I, I thought you can do it. Uh, like once you hit level three, you're done. So um, from a referral perspective. Yeah. So. Hoping it would show there. What was up? But uh, I guess not. Is it? Um, could you see me scrolling there, or is it just frozen? Uh, I'm not seeing you scroll. No. You're not seeing me scroll. Okay. It's unfortunate. I think um, my computer just can't handle all the windows I've got open. So I'm gonna have to hop off of YouTube. People have to look after the chat for me there. Um, sorry. Why don't we just uh, take a quick pee break? I'm gonna have to fire back up. Um, to, okay. to get my screen to okay, share again. Quick break, guys, right. and we'll be back uh, in a few minutes. Hang ten. We'll be back super soon.
Flipped over. All right, we're back. Uh, just getting everything fired up again. Sorry, guys. Um, I do not have a state of the art computer. Uh, so here we go. And join the teams. Just give me about 30 seconds here. Should fire up. So, okay. Okay. Perfect. So, I don't so know if anybody else remembers when they were uh, first new at the game. If you want to throw any comments in uh, in the chat, we can kind of talk about that because I know um, obviously some of us have struggled through it, learned it by ourselves, struggled through it, and didn't have anybody else to guide us along. And other people, other people did. Um, mm hmm. I do think it looks like it's easier, but you know, I think some of this feedback too from new players in regards to the um, in our regards to what's going on, I think that's super super helpful as well for them, right? So yeah. Okay, well, I'll jump right back into it here. Um, looks like we're scrolling in. My computer's caught up. Um, so, yeah, we were discussing before the break there just that you should be able to add a referral in while you're at level two. So I'm going to work with Bishop M this week, see what's going on with that referral process. And if there's any snags, I'll just uh, reach out to the development team and um, we can give you a, a follow up. Um, but just uh, when you do hit the referral process, just know that this is one of the best referral programs I've ever seen for any game. So this column here is the new player and this is what you get if you refer. So, you know, the first photo quest, you both get resource box, but you also get leaderboard points. You know, they upgrade their headquarters to level three and gain access to the shop and the auction house. You get two mystery boxes and leaderboard points. So they keep getting little rewards, but every time your player does something amazing and hits a milestone in the game, they get something, or you get something amazing back. So that third goal there, you get three mystery boxes. Next goal, a green key, yellow key, red key, purple key, even if they solve one of those elusive purple vaults. Um, so it's it's quite an amazing referral program. Um, but what we came here for was account level. And account level 10 was just announced that if you want to get all the rewards that you have in game and export them, you can either export them into crystal keys, which can be used to make in-game purchases, or they just recently introduced gift cards. Um, so this is brand new. You need to give them a little bit of time so that they can get caught up with things. Uh, but right now in the States, they have dominoes. I forget what they have in the UK. We'll get to that slide a little bit later. Another pizza, um, another pizza place. Yeah, um, I do have that slide at the end there, so we'll get to what those exports are. Um, but you can't export right away. That's the unfortunate side. You know, you can't just jump into the game, start playing on somebody else's work, and then head over to a Domino's and take out a gift card. <clears throat> Excuse me. What they want you to do is, like, learn the game first. Um, so you're going to have to get some experience points. And right down here at level 10, you're going to need 2,004 experience points. And these are the ways that you can gain experience points in the game. Um, so the first and obvious is solving vaults. Every single time that you solve a vault, you get one experience point. So if all you wanted to do was solve 2,000 vaults, um, for me personally, that takes about two months to do. Um, that gives you a time frame of how long it would take, and I'm, I'm an above average player. Um, so we can go over to the vault screen here. Um, these are the different vaults it's that you have. UK. You've got. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we've got white vaults, blue vaults, green vaults. Um, as Bishop M was saying, you know, the, the white vaults are pretty easy. Blue vaults, kind of easy as well. But then once you get into green, um, medium difficulty, I, I spend a lot of green keys on those. But again, it doesn't matter the color except for the purple, but red, yellow, green, blue, and white all give you one experience point each in the game. The blue vault gives you 15. So we'll head back to our account screen. The next thing that will give you experience points is uh, printing QBs. Um, so we've seen the blue QB in the game there. You've seen other QBs staffing trade shacks. You'll come across hundreds of them. Um, and they have different tiers of rarity. So you've got a common QB, a rare QB, an epic QB. <clears throat> 
and printing one of these cubies for the first time for a common is going to give you 35 experience points, a rare 100, and an epic 250. Right off the hop, I'm, I'm not imagining that too many new players are going to come into epic and rare cubies, maybe if you start during an event. But these are great ways to give you a boost, so it's not taking you, you know, two or three months to get to account level 10. And um, likewise, not only is this giving you your account experience, but it's giving your cubie that you're using experience to level up with so great point um and just be careful if you got a level nine qb uh if you're going to print an epic you may not need that full 250 experience points on it and uh would send some the way so uh learn that one the hard way um so depend you know make sure you know what qb you're wearing before you uh you print do your first print mm -hmm. So I forgot to mention to everyone who is new, this is the QBverse wiki. So if you just go to Google and type in QBverse wiki, it'll bring it right up. You do have a, a search option right at the top of the page, and um, I'm on the QB page. So you see, these are base QBs you'll see at the start of the game. Then you start getting into shop QBs, QBs that are available for sale. Um, these are QBs from a previous beta game called Coin Hunt World. Um, but they are starting to bring some of these back. You'll see them pop up periodically. You know, you got a nice little B QB there and a summertime QB. And then one of the cool things, we also have holiday QBs. Like this is from the Chinese New Year event. You know, you want a dragon QB or a tiger QB. Um, the Y event was really cool. A lot of Tiki warriors were in there. Um, so they're constantly coming out with new stuff. You got the Canada, American, British, El, Sal um, El Salvadorian QB, Halloween QBs, a lot of cool stuff. So printing any one of these, again, like a common is going to give you 35 experience points, a rare. Uh, let's just go back here. It was 100 experience points and uh, an epic is 250. So those are a nice boost um, to, again, like Atrocity said, will level up your QBs and your account. Um this is a big one body quests this is a huge part of the game everyone's talking about it it's an easy 50 points and it's also a way to gain um three green keys five, and all you need to do five for green keys. Five, oh, five green keys sorry i had three on my mind from the tutorial rewards there so yeah, you actually get five green keys thanks for the save there and all you really need to do is just add some friends to your friends list. It'll give you a complete overview here on, on the uh, wiki. Um, but one of those vaults in your area is going to turn into an orange seesaw. Um, here's your cubies jumping up and down on it. And you find your seesaw. Your buddy finds their seesaw. You both meet. You get five green keys and 50 experience points for your cubie and your account level. And then we also have a sushi quest. Atrocities was talking about. Can we go back and yep. to, to add to the buddy quest point? Um, sure thing. Best way to organize a buddy quest is through the Discord um, on for on the, in the Cubiverse. Because um, if you do sap the buddy, you got to be able to communicate. There's no communication tool within the game. Um, they Most people connect through the Discord in the game. So... Um, mm -hmm. Make sure you explore that as well when you're doing buddy quests. Obviously, you guys know each other inside the game, so that's an easy coordination that way. But if you're looking to add buddies uh, through the game, um, that's the way to do it. Uh, I know some people have done that through Facebook and whatnot, but you always see these Facebook buddy quests trying to connect to each other. It's, it's near impossible. So um, Yeah. Something else we've done on the show in the past, I'd like to bring it back. I'm sorry that I haven't. And... Um, we do have a buddy quest shout out on Twitter. I'll see if I can get atrocities to put that hashtag into this video later. And if you just go on to Twitter, type in hashtag BQ shout out, you're going to be connected with tens of players. I'd like to get that up to hundreds of players that are reliable for buddy quests. Um, I'm not sure if we lost Bishop again. Are you still here? Uh, yeah, I'm still here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just listening. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, as I'm talking about. Um, I got yeah, I so, got really no uh, no input. Just uh, just listening. Just yeah. That's questions. good. That's your input. Ask yeah, ask questions, questions yeah. interrupt we as we go. Um, atrocities. I'm not sure if you're watching YouTube. I had to shut it off um, just to keep the show going. But if there's any questions there, ask. I'll turn YouTube on at the end of the show and uh, check out those questions. 
Okay, so we got the the sushi quest. Um, this is another cool thing that just came to the game. So we've got sushi cubies, like there's a sushi chef. We've got a sushi master chef with a knife. Those are very elusive. You know, those knives for crafting QB are worth quite a bit of QB coins, which now translates into money. These chopsticks are also worth quite a bit in the auction house. What's, what's the most um, uh, rare item? The most rare item? Oh, jeez. That you can still um, get in the game? Because there's there's a bunch of, well, I would say, rare stuff that... Uh, yeah, let, let's say that you can get in the game. What's the most rare that you can get right now? I would right say now? The knives would be... The, that would be pretty hard. Um, the other Pizza option, paddles just came out. The other option so, for rare is the... Um, if you go to the green vaults um, and you get a perfect answer on, in hunter mode on green vaults, and this is one case where I um, turn on the hunter mode, uh, you will drop a chromatic QB blueprint. So that's probably yeah. uh, rare, and it's about 1% chance of a drop if you get a perfect on that. Um, so it's mm -hmm. pretty rare. And then I guess the next level of rare above that, there is an RNG QB blueprint, um, which you can get by doing the same thing at a yellow vault. Um, so yeah. is that is that a viable strategy to turn on and off hunter mode uh, during uh, certain things for certain things? I I do it um, for green vaults and yellow vaults because um, they're not. It's not like you're um, you know you go out for a walk and they're you're lucky if you got one of them on your route. Um, many cases I. If I'm going to one of those, I'm specifically saying I'm going to do the green vault or I'm going to go to the yellow vault. It's like a destination. Um, so when I get to my destination, I'll switch it over at that point in time. Oh, okay. But, yep. But definitely. Yeah, so like each person definitely has their own strategies, but to put it basic and bluntly, hunter mode is for collecting QB coins and rare drops, like we just mentioned, and chill mode is for like collecting resources and just kind of taking your time with the game. And hunter mode right. also like leaderboard points. So if you want to compete and uh, get, you know, like there's monthly rewards for this game. It's amazing those rewards. But you are competing with the top players in in the world. Like when I give her hell, I might get in the top fifty in Ontario. I don't think I'd grace the top one hundred in the world. Okay. Well, yeah, because I have a green vault right down the road from me, so. Yeah, you actually okay. you have two. Those those are mine. I own those. So oh, <laughs> a little yeah. bit of bragging okay. rights. Um, because <laughs> you you can have your own, but um, I think it's what ninety dollars US for Canadians to buy a green vault. Um, so I bought the bought them both in the beta game, and uh, I used in game rewards for one of them, but maxed out on that, and then used my own money to buy the second. So your green vaults in your town are located at actually Justin Bieber's church growing up. And the other vault is located at the yellow church a block away from 7-Eleven. So you can get them uh, in game now if through QB coins. Uh, I think it's nine, mm -hmm. nine, th no, crystal keys, 9,000 crystal keys. Crystal. So you'd need to convert your QB coins in the crystal keys um, and probably take you at 10 weeks to get enough to uh, put down a, a green vault if, if you decided mm -hmm. to go for your own at some point in time, right? Mm -hmm. So, and um, it's entirely user based, so you have to staff it with your own QB. You actually need to have an epic QB to staff it, and then you can also upgrade that green vault to level ten, so it gives out more rewards, and you can upgrade the QB that staffs it to level ten to help give out more rewards. What do you think, uh, what country has QBverse the most popular in? Canada. <laughs> um, I can actually like, get to that if I got the country modifier up. I there we go. So I, was wonder, I was wondering that the other day. Ontario, so, Canada, I'm going to say, is um, battles it out with probably BC for the most competitive local market, I think. Mm -hmm. in, okay. my, in my opinion. Um, so there's quite a few more 
like local zones in the U.S., but yeah, like Atrocity is saying, like uh, Ontario and B.C. are the most deadly ones in the world for the local. Like I, I recall after last summer after the Canada event or or um, the Canada Canada Day kickoff Canada event, I was third in the world after the first night. I was third in Canada, and I was third in my local region. <laughs> wow. Insane. So, that's just how competitive that, that you know London, like Ontario, was uh, <laughs> at that point in time. So, um, yeah. Anyways. So yeah. So the way that the leaderboards are set up is you have the global leaderboards, you have your country leaderboards, and then you have your local leaderboards. And local leaderboards are either a state or a province. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Nice. So, so yeah, so again, um, back to account level, like we were talking about Sushi Quest. Um, nothing too crazy about the Sushi, sushi Quest other than you have to be there for a minimum of 45 minutes. Um, so uh, I, I keep mentioning over the last few weeks in the shows, my wife is building a sushi shop. So here in town, Bishop, at Pearl Sushi, um, if you drive by with the game on, you'll actually see a construction site. So she is building a sushi shop, sushi shop there. And basically, you go to Pearl Sushi, you order up your food, you sit down, you start the quest in game, and basically the timer goes out, and you can't walk more than five meters away from your starting point, like from the restaurant. And when it's all over, you get 100 experience points for your QB, 100 experience points for your account, and you get a chance at the Sushi Chef blueprint drop and a very rare chance at the master sushi chef blueprint drop and you also get a chance at the resources to build both those cuties and you can do that once a week so once a week you could hit dropped. 100 experience points oh that it's three dropped. days, three so days. Me, wow so, so you me, guys me and my it. wife me and my wife that was our first date ever was at that restaurant wow. so that's a that's good excuse fantastic. to go there again uh, right yeah. i'm just <laughs> Hey, honey, we're, we're not actually going back for romance. We're going back as my game. Okay. That's yeah. right. Yeah. She, and I'll just keep looking at my phone. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> right on. So you can go relive that day twice a week. Get yourself you know what, though? Pearl point. Sushi has amazing sushi, though. I'm going to – I'll give them that, man. It's delicious. It's always good there. Yeah. See, my so, plan is to bring them all this business and then get them to advertise my referral. They should. In the store. They should. Yeah. That, right? That's a great idea because because you're you're theming their restaurant over the the digital universe and then that's right. You know, that's the cool thing idea. about the metaverse. It doesn't matter which game you're playing, like to incorporate real life stuff into the digital yeah. universe is, is cool. Yeah, it is. We, once we get the Tim Hortons in in uh, going in in Canada, you know, it just comes self-referring, right? Because, you know, they'll be able to put this up here and say, hey, come here and, and get your, you know, help you get your Timmies. So, uh, yeah. They'll have, they'll yeah. Have incentive so, and people have incentive to, to do that. So. And and I love free coffee, so. <laughs> well, I don't think, uh, if, if you are new, I'm, I'm not sure if everyone's really following. Um, so, but once a month, the developers put on a, a video podcast on YouTube, like what we're doing right now, and they call it Hunter's Lodge, and they talk about upcoming changes to the game. And last Hunter's Lodge, they they did. They introduced Domino's. Um, so this is a, a pizzeria structure. And if you put a pizzeria structure down on any pizza shop in the game, you can do this anywhere in the world where the game is active. Um, th these are going to be the cost to build it. You'll have a little pizza quest, same setup like the sushi shop. You'll get a, either a, a chef blueprint or a master chef blueprint resources to build it. And uh, But if it's built on a Domino's in the United States, um, you can export. You can export rewards. And uh, I brought up before the country modifier. I'm not, there it is. So everywhere in the world can export five US dollars. This is, this is their master plan. But you have a country modifier. So if you're in the United States, because they are the most active country in the world, they actually get twice the export level. So they can take out 10 US dollars. Here in Canada, 
where we're hosting this show and we're going to be talking about Tim Hortons, you can take out 1.8 times the country modifier. So that works out to about um, $9 US every single week. of the US. Right. So if you do the current con- currency conversion, you're looking at $640 a year in Tim Hortons. And you don't need to go out and build structures like what we talk about on this show. You don't need to buy crystal keys and pay for any part of the game. That's that's what the OG players are for. That's what the vets are here for. We've been building up our cities, our towns, our communities. So we've, we've built the, the groundwork for everyone to just hop in and start playing. All you got to do is get to account level 10 and keep watching the show and tell your friends and family. And then as you start getting more and more Timmies and you get into the game, you know, we, we always came for the exports, but a lot of us stayed for the game. The game is a lot of fun. You know, we've got um, the sushi quest, the pizza quest. We've got the Vegas monument quest. There's a whole quest down on the strip in Vegas that you can go to with your family, your friends, play this game, get some resources. Um, there's a quest out in Hawaii. It's fantastic. You know, um, these vending machines, we've talked about them in the past on the show here. Um, they're always going to be found on a post office tag. So in the town where you're playing Bishop, I have a vending machine at the post office downtown. So if you want to start getting into building in the game, but you don't want to contribute any of your Canadian dollars, find out, find out where one of these vending machines are, because instead of getting $9 in Tim Hortons, you can get $9 in crystal keys to put towards building blue vaults, white vaults, other vending machines, trade shacks, print shops. Like the sky's Are you talking limit. about, are you talking about uh, the meme I made? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we'll be sure that we we share this at the start. It was at the opening screen to tonight's show. Um, I was, uh, yeah, I was running around doing chores and stuff, and opening vaults, enjoying my time. I really love the trivia questions. I really enjoy trivia, and honestly, anybody that does enjoy trivia would enjoy this game. Um, mm-hmm. Other than if you like to walk, do you like to walk? You might as well. You might as well try to earn some some money. You know what I mean? So uh, that with trivia questions and uh, then just exploring the universe um, is just fun if you like any <laughs> type of adventure. So That's right. Well, I like um, that you hit on like the three things I keep talking about being the three legs of the game. Just with that, right? Like the trivia, learning stuff. I love that. I love the walking and the exercise and the the export option, right? I mean, it's awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so. I I'm a guy. I go to the gym uh, six days a week, so I'm I'm big on exercise and just to do, just to have some more meaning in like walking around or running around. You know, this is mm-hmm. the, this is the game. So yeah. if you need I mean, an excuse, if you need an excuse to get up and do something, you might as well turn your phone on, you know, <laughs> put on QB verse, open That's some stuff. And even, and- e- even the simple questions with gray vaults gets your brain going. You know what I mean? Cause like, oh, yeah. even if you know the answer, when they come up, you're like, you feel good, you feel good about it. And then, you know, you go to a harder vault and a harder vault. And, you yeah. know, you really start testing yourself. I really enjoy that. That's cool. Good to hear. Cause I'm glad I, that you're... I, I totally agree because, I mean, it, uh, you know, playing the game got me out walking around. Never used to go for walks, but now come home, go for a walk with my wife and I. Um, and uh, it's good, right? And the other thing, too, is uh, I started playing and my wife's like, hey, what are you doing? And she's, she was watching me and she wanted to join in, right? So I also yeah. think that there's a great um you know couples aspect to it as well so i know you're talking about it uh if you you know doing going to the sushi with your wife well you know you might want to uh get her plan before you before you go yeah (laughs) 
Yeah, yeah, get some extra yeah. stuff. <laughs> right. So, Perfect. because we're talking about this fun stuff to do, this is one thing. Like, I know we're we're going a bit longer today, um, but the Halloween event, you know, this is something that actually connected me with atrocities and Magic Dragon and all the people in London. You know, I was just playing by myself in Stratford, Ontario. Got my wife on board. There was a couple people that popped up here and there. But mainly it's just just me. My wife plays doing groceries on the weekend. Sometimes she comes out when I get home at 2.30 in the morning or over Christmas when we're all together. Um, but this Halloween event, um, it's just like trick-or-treat in the game. The more people that you physically have playing in one location, the more chances you have to be successful. So this is what I did. I hooked up with the, the London, Ontario Discord group, and we all got together outside of King's College in London, Ontario. I met, met atrocities for the first time. He's a bubbly person. And uh, we all walked around. And as you walk around, the vaults turn into cauldrons and you drop all of these resources here for all of these cubies. And it's a great time to get together and meet your friends. Like this George QB here, I didn't get it the the year that it came out, but um, this last week in, in my week in the QBverse, I was able to win one of those uh, George Ghost QBs. Um, so these events, like they're amazing. It's not just grinding and answering questions every single day. You know, I I plan to go to London at two thirty in the morning one day. We've got Christmas events, you know, where you can get nutcrackers and Rudolph and Santa Claus and elves and um, got ugly Christmas sweater cubies and ornament cubies, just fun stuff for the whole family. As long as you're over 16, you can play this game. We talked briefly about the Chinese New Year event. Like events are coming out the wazoo. You're into sports. Um, so I'll go back to that in a second. Uh, but you're into sports. Uh, 2022, we did a World Cup. You know, we watched the World Cup that comes around every four years. So I'd imagine when the World Cup comes around again, um, they're going to be doing it. So we had all of the teams that were involved and you had to wear that QB before the match. And if your team won, you know, you got points. You got to advance in the quest chain. And I was able to advance all the way to the end and got the yeah. World Cup champion QB. You know, um, the the big game contest came out for the Super Bowl. You know, San Francisco 49ers against the Kansas City Chiefs. It was real easy. Everyone could participate, throw in a white QB or a red QB. You know, you get those in in the uh, beginning of the game anyway. So you really didn't have to try to be a part of this. Just slap it on, didn't have to watch football. And, you know, you got boxes, like contest boxes for just participating. And five times those contest boxes, if you want. Uh, recently, we had an MMA event, you know, where you could throw on a red MMA QB or a blue MMA QB. QB just before Bruce Buffer was announcing the fight. You know, we we covered this in one of our previous episodes. So they're constantly coming out with new stuff uh, to keep it fresh. Little mini events like uh, where did I have it here? The Mystery Science Theater. So some of us have heard about Mystery Science Theater 3000. Um, it was like a B-rated TV show in the late 80s and 90s, making fun of B-rated sci-fi movies. And it went the wayside, but resurfaced back in the late 2000s. And um, Titanium Toaster Court who are the developers behind the QBverse, um, they thought they'd help do a, a crowd fundraising event. So anyone that purchased Crystal Keys during this event, all those proceeds went straight to the Mystery Science Theater 3000 reboot. And, uh, you know, we had a watch party. We all got together and watched Mac and me. Um, it, it was a lot of fun. You know, I watched it with my wife and, you know, we're laughing at just how terrible that was. Did you get to watch that atrocities? Oh, yeah. I watched that. Yeah. I I, I was not having as much fun because I thought the movie was utterly... <laughs> I like, thought it was great. It was it so was, bad. It was so bad, I, I did not want to watch it. Right? Like, <laughs> like it, was beyond, it was beyond, like, laughing at bad. It was just like, oh, my God, this is, like... Anyway. But yeah. otherwise... To step back the, a little bit. To step was... back a little bit, though. I'm going to come out to Halloween this year. Yeah. So okay, yeah. Let's, sure. let's find out. Right. I'll be there. Yeah. And um, another one that I'm doing this year, like the Canada Day event. Um, so I've got a friend that's in Colorado and she's got her son. Uh, one of her sons is uh, graduating this year. He's studying hardcore for school. He's just fantastic. And for his graduation present, he wanted to see Niagara Falls. 
And uh, she said, hey, can we get together Canada Day, go hunting in Toronto? And I'm like, yeah, that'll be great. So it's a little bit hush-hush. I know he doesn't watch the show. He's studying right now. Um, but we're all getting together for a Canada Day hunt. And I want as many people to show up to the Danforth area and then just cheer this guy on, cheer on Giddy Peak Fun. I think his um, in-game name is Cyberpunk. Um, so just please don't tell him. It's a little bit hush-hush, uh, but he's not involved in social media. But this, this is, again, so much fun. I'm looking forward to it. I get to meet one of my friends that I've never met before. I was supposed to go to Hawaii with her and the gang and do the volcano quest. You know, life got in the way, but now I'm finally getting to meet my friend, Gimme Pig Fund. And so I'm going to be in Toronto. She's going to be there. Her son's going to be there. Palmer Boy's going to be there. Anyone that we bring from the area, like tell your friends and family, come down. It's, it's going to be amazing. And I'm sure we'll hit the parade while we're in town. So, so I think that, uh, that kind of wraps up my presentation. Um, I don't know if there's any questions. Um, I can stop sharing and hop over to YouTube to see what the chatter's going on in there. There's not much, uh, chat wise no chatter. since you've got on, um, just, uh, I've been watching it. Um, you know, um, yeah. Pizza Hut, uh, but no, not much there. Yeah. Well, I guess we can talk a little bit about Tim Hortons because that's, um, I guess, last Hunter's Lodge, they were trying to allude to it coming out. But by the end of the Hunter's Lodge, they had straight up said this is a dark roasted bean. Tim Hortons is coming to Canada. Um, contracts have been signed. They were just working on some final in-game programming because this coffee shop structure is bringing something new to the QB verse that we've never seen before. It's bringing consumables. I have no idea what that means. But your your QB is going to be able to go to Tim Hortons, get a drink or a donut, I assume. And I'm certain it's going to add some sort of buff, maybe increased paint drop, increased resin. I don't know. It's all up in the air. Um, but they had briefly talked about this in other Hunter's Lodges. So the cool part that you can take out Timmy's and then the cool part that it's going to affect your QB in game. So I'm, I'm very excited about that. I don't know if there's any questions about Tim Hortons coming. We really don't know a whole lot right now. But if you tune into the QBverse official channel on YouTube, you'll be able to see next Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. They're going to be talking about it. I can't wait. With uh, with Tim Hortons launching pizza this week, maybe Tim Hortons is going to be the, uh, the pizza partner as well as the... Uh... <laughs> maybe that's arguable we'll have to say that with the uh, illusion a weaver in the crew yeah so, put a pizza shop or a coffee shop on a timmy's tag so, for sure oh. excellent so bishop uh do you get any other questions at all anything you want to talk no about? um just uh interested to uh see the future the only other uh quarrel i have with the game is i i do wish there was more things happening just a little more lively uh because sometimes when you just like walk into another vault it's just there's nothing you know like you get the odd gift here and there depending on how many steps you take but it's like i feel like and i and i don't actually have a solution either so i i'm just saying this out into the empty space but i feel like there just needs to be something else in the world right and i know they've got plans to introduce um like i want to say randomly spawned events around uh that'd be cool around ac certain activities um yeah. i think um they're not in the game as of yet which is unfortunate I... but at the same time it's, it's it's a small um it's a small team that's that's doing it um, yeah. so it's not like, you know, you're dealing with Blizzard at World of Warcraft where they can, you know, just put a ton of stuff in like instantaneously. No, so they, they but, do have right. lots of plans for the future. I just thought of something too. Like what if, what if there's like, uh, hidden vaults, something like that, okay. that'd be so cool where like well, you actually, have to explore and then they just appear. Pop up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's kind so of cool. That'd be, that'd actually have... be something similar that'd be like, pretty cool if you answer a green vault perfectly there's mm -hmm. the chance 
that another green vault nearby will turn into a red vault and they're worth like a hundred thousand cubic coins or hundred bucks us hmm. that'd be yeah yeah but I, like I, I do like your idea on. that that you could be walking by and then all of a sudden a temporary vault pops up. Yeah. Or like uh or they could put in like bank vaults. Something like that. You know, because like <laughs> That's if a you're bit of a expa- touchy subject actually. If you're <laughs> if you're gonna expand on like if we can expand on vaults, you can think of how many different types of vaults there are in the world. And, uh, you know, you could do heists. You're, you and your friends could do heists and stuff like that. <laughs> like, I think that, uh, well, not necessarily, but there could be like, you know, type of NPC vaults or, um, you know, something fun like that. You know, I like, think like, that would like be a quest vault basically where you need to do yeah. to unlock a, a larger prize or so as a group or, or so. Yeah. yeah. So that would be really neat. And they've got, um, so they just announced these city quests um, where they're doing oh, yes. stuff in the city. Um, and the first one's in Phoenix. And I think that they're going to use some of those to uh, beta test certain activities, kind of like what you what you're talking about. Um, we went to the, the Coin Hunt Fest two years ago in Vegas, um, which is where the monument is, and the monument's still there. And in that one, they did a couple things that eventually end up in the game. Um, one of those being, uh, at, was added at the uh, Halloween event last year, whereby a random green vaults would convert and be taken over by the witch. And if you could, did that, if you found the witch at these green vaults, um, it was basically a concentration game. Was your oh. prize. So you had to do a concentration game. Um, and if you solve the concentration game, you you run a, a reward of the concentration game. So, you know, if you walked up... So, obviously, if you're playing the game, you walk up and say, Hey, there's, there's a witch. What's what's this doing here? Um, and it turns out it's a concentration game you got to complete, which was uh, really neat. That was first demoed at that, that one. It's then, not as fun as he's leading on. I hated it. Yeah. Like, hated <laughs> it. Was- I, oh, my God, man. Oh my god, it's one of these so, like stupid little grid systems where it's like matchy matchy, like you flip a card over and yeah, then you yeah, get a match yeah. it to another so, one. So <laughs> what if what if what if it was like the lights, the light concentration game where it's like this light, this light, this light, this light, right? Like there's nine lights and you gotta do them in order again after you see them. That'd be right? that, I'd like that. They can throw that absolutely and then they can throw all that sort of stuff in. So I think and I think yeah. they're kinda of working on, on memory this. games kind of like that but yeah i i do agree that the the concentration game was rather frustrating it took me quite some time to do it uh, i know other people did it quite quickly but um yeah it it was whatever but and there were there were other events there too that they they tried out right like um uh i think there was one where we had to go it start off and you had to go to various places and collect um collect some resource and bring it back to the central location um things of that nature right which is you know they just start randomly spawning right so that's cool i see here in the chat someone's commenting they qb fights you know oh my god i get classes you know so you can come in and then somehow you get a qb fight going on and and stuff like that so that's that's kind of going into your thing there uh bishop where you're asking about other stuff so this is the qb verse i don't know if you know much about meta verses in general but this is like the core structure to the game and then they're going to introduce other games so what you do in the qb verse is like you level up your qbs here and then you can export it to qb fights and probably play on playstation or xbox those details haven't been ha- hammered out yet might be able to trade them send them back and forth who knows but that's that's one other offshoot game that they're looking at. And then you could probably take it out of the QB battle game and put it back into QB verse to level up again or to staff your structures. But QB verse is where it's all based off of. Yeah, don't so expect it's, to see you, that anytime, anytime soon. <laughs> no, it's all like we've been hearing this for a couple of years, but you know, that grand vision, you know, that's, that's one of those underlying things that I get very excited about to see this become, you know, part of our everyday lives like hey i'm gonna fight your battle i'm gonna fight your qb on the weekend i'm gonna take your qb coins cool 
All right. Yeah. Um, anything else? I think that's it. Yeah. So thanks for sticking with us tonight, guys. We went an hour and 10 minutes, but had a lot of fun. Um, thanks for coming out. Share with your, your friends and family about this. This is going to be a referral episode. And to show him it's not that bad. We did coax Bishop M out. We got walking. He's still walking. He's not dead. That's it. <laughs> yeah. <Awesome>. Nope. <laughs> All right, Bishop. Well, thanks for, thanks for coming on the show. Hopefully, we'll uh, see you again sometime um, on the show. Well, yeah, I'm sure you will. Uh, I'm going to keep playing, uh, keep exploring. So yeah. I look forward to the updates. Just like anything I play, I love uh, updates. So, For sure. and I'll uh, tune back into uh, the episodes. So, really nice meeting you, Likewise. and uh, thanks for having me on. Thank you. Thanks, Bishop. Okay, so Lionheart, any last comments? Uh, no, just be sure to check us out next weekend as we recap Hunter's Lodge. Um, possibly any patch notes that come out. Not sure yet. No mention of that. So um, have a great evening and uh, we'll see you next week. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, uh, put comments, YouTube comments below and uh, share with your friends um, and uh, pass the word along. So thank you everybody. And uh, that's the end of the show. Have a good one. Have a good night.